Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and welcome to this review of the Acoustic Samples Whirly Virtual Instrument. Now we all know that Whirly is Russ's dog, but in fact what I'm going to be reviewing is this beautiful Wurlitzer Model 206 recreation by Acoustic Samples. It's an incredibly easy VI to use and as always most of the review will be driven by audio examples but I am just going to show you around the VI and show you some of the cool things that this thing has to offer. So first of all, it sits inside the UVI workstation, which is really neat and just makes things nice and simple. And the GUI itself is also really simple. As I said, we like that. We have the electric and acoustic volumes, meaning we have the electric output sound, if you like, and the acoustic noise of the hammers and the internal workings. We also have settings for the internal vibrato, be it either pan vibrato or volume vibrato, rate and depth for both of those, cabinet level and cabinet type, we'll get onto all these in a second, bass and treble settings for tone control, it's built in spring reverb, a distortion element, chorus element and flange element, we like those. But if I click down here on settings, we can get a whole lot more down and dirty with release volume, pedal volume, pedal down resonance, sympathetic resonance of the cabinet, the spring length for the spring reverb, cabinet distance as in the distance you are from the cabinet, chorus speed, flange speed, velocity sensitivity, threshold, dynamics and the velocity curve. However, as I've said before, the proof of the pudding is in the audio. Well, they don't really say that, but they do now. So let's play these examples. I'd like to thank my buddy Jamie Brooks for being the keyboard player on these examples. You might think you recognise them, but for YouTube's sake, trust me, you don't. He made them up. So let's crack on. Here we go. First of all, let's roll down the electric volume. There's just the hammer noises. Lovely. You can get rid of that if you want to, but I quite like it. So let's add some pan vibrato now. Maybe too much. Vibrato on the volume. I love that. So let's mess with the cabinet now. Mono and stereo cabinets. And they really do change the tone of this thing. Super 12 Fender cabinet, a Mesa stereo cabinet. I think that's my favourite. We can of course tweak bass and treble. Add some spring reverb. Add some distortion. Let's move on to the next example. And of course if we want to, we can get in and mess with the chorus settings. If we don't want chorus,
And let's try out this last example. Again, you'll think you recognise it, but you won't. I absolutely adore this thing. It's so quick to get some great sounds out of. I think one of the most powerful controls in here is the choice of cabinet. I think that's the thing that's really making the biggest change to the sound, um, which of course it would do in the real world. It's an electric instrument. You play it through a cabinet, it's gonna change things. But this thing is really, really cool. If I have one minor criticism, it's that all the best sounds, I think for the effects, are all really far down the kind of dial settings if you like. Um, for example, if I crank the distortion up on this. I'm not a great fan of those upper levels of distortion on keyboards anyway, but I think for my taste, it's a bit too harsh. But hey, depending on the sort of music you're working on, it might be the right sound for you. What else is there to say? It sounds great. You've been listening to the Acoustic Samples Whirly. I've been James from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll see you again soon for some more Gear Talk.